How's it going guys? Phase Blue here and uh before you watch this video, it's kind of a different kind of video. This is a video I did for my journalism class. And yeah. Thought I might as well upload it here because all the other people in my class are going to be uploading it to YouTube. Might as well upload it here so I can slap them all on views. Um so yeah, just a little background on what the video is. We were supposed to make a video explaining a natural phenomenon and since I have the voice of an angel I'm just talking over mine so yeah I hope you enjoy um, I'm trying to think of some plans for like the upcoming milestones like 50,000 subscribers I'm thinking of doing like a day in the life or something like that but an actual day in the life so I'm not really sure what you guys want to see be sure to let me know in the comments down below even though it's probably not below, I don't even know. So yeah, uh, I hope you guys enjoy the video. I've been Phase Blue. I'm out. Deuces. Let's just stop right there. During the first few seconds of this video, you were probably pretty bored yourself. Even though you were reading the title, the title probably didn't mean too much, considering the white text on the black background was not very entertaining or interesting to you along with the music which didn't really match the subject. Everyone knows what boredom is, and everybody for sure has experienced their fair share of boredom, but nobody really looks into what it is. The definition of boredom is the state of being bored. However, bored is feeling wary because one is unoccupied or lacking interest in one's current activity. An example of this can be seen almost anywhere near school. But what's strange is why we get bored at school. At school, we're soaking in all the knowledge around us, and we're actually learning things. However, many students find themselves in a state where they are not interested in doing anything but sleep. However, there are many factors that could affect why a student gets bored in school, whether it be the way the class is being taught, the subject that is being taught, and just a bunch of other things like that. On the other hand, children in other countries would give anything for an education, yet we are here sleeping through our lectures because we don't find them particularly entertaining. In that sense, being bored could really be considered being ungrateful, but it's natural for us to be bored. It could be based on where we were raised, the standard of living that we have, and just what we expect as human beings coming into that situation. Whether it's present day or even back in the Stone Age, people always find ways to relieve their boredom. Let's just take a look back at the last century and see how much the world has really changed in sense of entertainment and just what we as humans use on a daily basis. The chances are if you scroll down your social media timeline, you will find at least one person complaining about how bored they are. Yet they're doing this with an electronic device with a ton of capabilities. Whether this is just a sense of irony or they are actually bored. There are now more than 500 million devices in U.S. homes connected to the internet. The average number of devices per U.S. internet household has grown from 5.3 devices just three months ago to 5.7 devices today. Even though the average amount of devices capable of reaching the internet in every household is over five, we're still getting bored. But how? Lucky for us, this is one phenomenon that has scientific reasoning behind it. Looking at the research, boredom is when a person perceives their environment as dull, tedious, and or lacking in stimulation. If we take a look back at the school example, a common cause of boredom is a lack of understanding, or the complete polar opposite, when it's a complete understanding. You are bound to be bored if you either don't have any idea of what's going on, or you already know it like the back of your hand. But let's go back to the beginning. In that intro for this video, I guarantee that half of you were bored. Boredom in itself is a psychological thing. You all saw the white text on black background and probably were not interested in it whatsoever, even though the text could have said anything. And this is just because you were used to it. New things interest people, old things are things of the past, they are not interesting. 
This concept of old versus new can be seen throughout history. It's very unlikely that someone with access to the newest technology would prefer using an iPod Shuffle or be interested in using an iPod Shuffle over, say, an iPhone 5. This just goes to show that we are always looking for the newest thing. Boredom is the sense of losing interest in something or just not being interested. And we as humans are always interested in the newest things. We want to have the top thing because we can have the top thing. We are humans and we do what we want. The main thing you should get out of this video is that boredom happens to everyone, no matter who you are, where you are, or when you were. It's just one of those things that everybody experiences.